Check out this dough ball. It looks amazing compared to this mess we have here. Check out my first bit on how to prep store-bought dough to put yourself on the track to making really epic pizza at home. After the dough is all ready, it's looking really nice here. I'm gonna pop it to, into a little mixture of flour and semolina. That's what I like to stretch my pizza with. It prevents the dough from sticking to the marble as we stretch here. And also when we pop it on to our wooden peel, which we're gonna build our pizza on. After I hit it into the little bowl of flour here, I can put it right onto my work surface and start opening up the dough ball. What I like to do is just kind of pat it down into a nice circle. Can you believe how round it already looks? Definitely a lot different than what it looks like coming out of the bag. For my stretching technique, what I really like to do is keep that crust intact as well as the middle. You see there how I'm not pressing out any of the air yet. I have a little bit of flour on my work surface to here to prevent it from sticking. I can start turning the dough a little bit as I open it up, flipping it over now on what's going to be the bottom of the pizza. You can see that rest time that I allow, allow the dough to ferment really makes it quite a bit easier to stretch. That's one of the secrets to using grocery store pizza dough is a little bit longer rest time will make the dough much easier to work with. After the dough ball starts opening up, I can pick it up in my hands here and just let gravity do the trick to open up the dough ball even further. You can use your hands here to stretch it out as well. I'm gonna go back onto my work surface and just use my hands here to stretch it out even more. This is half of a Trader Joe's dough ball. They come in one pound packages and this a half of one pound package will make a nice 10 to 12 inch pizza. Perfect for the uni volt. I'm gonna hit the bottom of the dough with just a little bit of fine semolina. That will prevent it from sticking when we put it onto our peel. Just a little bit there. And if you find the dough gets sticky once you get it onto the peel, you can always throw a little bit of semolina underneath. Wow, check out this dough. Can you believe that store-bought dough? The fermentation actually looks really amazing to me. Check out my first video that shows you all the tricks so you can end up with a pizza dough ball that looks like this. I think we're ready to build our pizza margarita. I'm gonna transfer uh, the dough to this wooden peel to build and load on. And before that, I'll just give it one final stretch, kind of clearing out our excess semolina here. You can stretch one more time. Look at that, the dough looks so nice. Right on to our wooden peel. Wow, look at that. Looks really amazing. Give it a little shake on the peel to make sure it's not stuck. Check it out, grocery store pizza dough looking really amazing to me. We'll get it topped and into our uni volt.